Hello everyone, welcome back to me trying to save the puck for however many minutes I play. Who even knows? Well, it's normally, it's not actually 40 minutes because I, I'm not <laughs> doing that. That would be insane. But yeah, we do play the third period and I think someone was curious about that. I don't really know why I do it. I just feel like it's a lot easier than playing the whole game. And if I play the whole game, I usually get lit up. So maybe we could switch to the full game, but then I would definitely want to make the periods like three minutes long. So otherwise this will go forever, especially with all the cutscenes and everything. So um, yeah, I kind of like the format that I currently have for it. I'm not sure how other people do it, but sort of how I've been doing it. And yeah, I guess we'll try to stick with that for now. But um, I'm also trying sort of a new lighting set up here. I don't know if it's going to work, so the green screen might be just awful. <laughs> Hopefully it's not. Hopefully it works. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. And it also won't be blasting me right in the face anymore. As At least not as intense as it was before. It's sort of a alleviation. That's a, that's a good word for that, right? I guess. Yeah, it alleviates some of the <laughs> strain on my eyeballs. Okay, well, let's go ahead. Simulate this game here. Philadelphia is 28, 17, and 7. And did we have 29 wins before? I think that was a W. Pretty sure we got a win there, which is nice. And then we took an L. 30, 20, and 6. And then Montreal is doing real well. And we win against them, which is nice. Washington. And we're in for the Washington Capitals here. They are 29, 23, and 5. And... We are ninth. They are 17th. That's a pretty big gap, no? Considering how many points do we have up on them? Five? I think we have five more points than them. Huh. Okay, well, regardless, we are in against Washington. Let's see how this one goes. Boom. Yeah, that's nice. And, okay, 24 to 21 is the shots. That's not bad. Yeah, let's jump in and see... What we can do here, I might change up, oh, I guess, yeah, that's not really going to work because of the whole away thing, unless I change ours as well, which I'm not going to do. So, yeah, let's get in there and hopefully stop some pucks. Ovechkin is going to absolutely light me up. I can see it already. I actually forgot to show the lines, which I like to do at the start of the video, and then I usually show the stats at the end of the video. That's sort of how I've been doing it recently, but they seem to be the same as last time. It looks like Pugliarvi's playing... With Kane and McDavid right now. No, so close. That was a very solid way to start the third period. It could have been even more solid, but either way, we are getting a lot of pressure here. Lots of chances for Edmonton. And here comes Washington. Kuzi in the middle to Oshi. Ooh, that just went off the glove. Yeah, I'm smothering that. All right. Uh, is there a rule about smothering the puck behind the goal line there? Because they called a penalty on us in 3-on-3 three three for it. And we were kind of like, is that a rule? Like, uh, we'll give it to them, sure. But I don't know if that's a rule or not. And, yeah, they gave them a penalty shot. But it, whatever. Didn't really matter. So, yeah. I'm not sure if that is an actual thing. Or if he just kind of made it up. But it happened nonetheless. And I just smothered it here and didn't get a penalty. So, if it is a real thing, then the game doesn't even know about it. Big hit. And now Nuge carrying it up the wing. He's with Dreisaitl and Hyman. Nice pass to Brary. 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 <laughs> who was streaking in. But he didn't get a shot off. In fact, he went for the pass. Which I am not, you know, super on board with that. But, you know, he's just trying to be a team player. Tim Winston. He's in. Oh, and he's going to get leveled. Let's go. Laying the body on Tommy. Oh, no. Oh no, and now we get rocked in front of our net. Oh, I tried to smother it, but Hyman came in and just got it away from me. That will be stopped on the blocker. And a nice pass behind the net. Up to Dreisaitl, who's carrying it in. Nice stop up, look at this guy go. Ah, uh, never mind, it was not a good stop up whatsoever. Their team read that from a mile away. And now they have it. In, the defense are going to block that attempt. And Kane's going to win the battle. All right, let's work our way up the ice again here, guys. Nurse to McDavid in the middle. A dish off to Kane, who does a toe drag. Rips a shot, and then snows Fucali, and the defense are just like, 
Go for it, man. What you got for me, Shiri? What you got? Oh, a short side shot that is going to narrowly miss. I don't know if I got a piece of that. I don't think I did. Looked like it just cleanly missed, but it all kind of happened so fast that not really sure. Cannot give you a precise answer. In the corner now. Nice. Oh, he's able to... What happened? How did he lose that? He would have scored there for sure. But somehow, the puck deserted him. Now the Capitals win a battle at the blue line. Sprong is in. Plyarvi with a great back check. What a team player to get on board with the back check. Oh, man. Nice try. Sprong takes a shot. No, there's three of them right there. That was a death trap. If I tried to pass that out, goal for sure. It's a good thing I didn't. Face off. I'm going to say to the right of me. Remember I had that whole thing where I was like, is that the right or the left? I'm just going to say it's the right of me. I'm going by that from now on. And the Capitals do win it. But Kempney gets pressured immediately. Now there's a duel. Kuznetsov comes out with it. He goes to Schultz who takes a shot that is saved. You're open. So I'll give that... To Keith, who passes it up to Warren. Here we go, Ryan. Nice. Ah, uh, he lost it. He lost it. Not really sure what he was doing there. Could have put the puck deep. You know? What are, what are all your intermission interviews all about then? It's all lies. Team's got some solid control going right now, and I jinxed it. We lost the puck as soon as I chimed in. That's usually how it works. Even in GM mode or franchise mode, whatever you want to call it, our team will be ripping it up. I'm like, you know what? Our team's doing pretty good right now. And we go on an 83-game losing streak because that's just the way things work for me. Oh, no. Oshi. Ooh, we just missed the net. Holy crap. I'm getting real lucky with those. Wow. That beat me fair and square. But he did just narrowly miss again, which is really working to my favor right now. These guys have awful aim, apparently. John Carlson sends a howitzer towards the net. And that will thankfully also miss. And off that, the Oilers get... Oh, my word. I'm going for that. Let's go. Fire me up. Yeah. Get him out. And... Oh, I faked you. Faked you so bad. Passed it up to Hyman. Now the boys are buzzing. Nuge has it in the corner. Passes in the middle. Dry sidle. How are you going to miss that? Holy crap. He just fed it to you. Here comes the airplane and everything. The whole spoon. And you missed it. That is tragic. Great passing going on from the Capitals here. I'll give that out to Bouchard because their player did back off. Oh, it's Tom Wilson. That makes it even more surprising. Dry Seidel gets a shot off. That will be saved by Fucali. Oh my word, how did he glove that? That shot was a lightning bolt. Oh yeah? Oh yeah, Pogliarvi? Pass cross ice to Nurse. And here comes Kane. We need a goal here, boys. We really do. A dish off to pull. Yarvi has all the time in the world and he misses the net. So both teams are not having any luck hitting the net, apparently. Kane in the middle to pull. Yarvi another chance. And Fukali will save that with the right mini wheat. How much time's left? I can't see over my mic. Three minutes. Holy, that went quick. I got a new monitor and this one is 27 inch, I believe. So. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised it even fits on this desk with the other monitor. But it does. And uh, that's why I have some visual impairments. Oh no, it's Ovechkin. Yes! Great defense! Just nudge him from behind enough to not let him get the shot off. That was clutch. Speaking of clutch, it's clutch time and I am Zach Cassian. Ooh, good effort. Here comes over chicken again. Don't let that man shoot. Whatever you do. All right, Nurse with a dish off to Barry, who goes across to Dreisaitl, a deke. He passes it in the slot, and that shot won't make it through. We're in the final minute now. At least that's what the uh, commentator guy said. I'm pretty sure. Could have said something different. I still can't see the time. Oh, that's going out. That's going out. No, it's not. Nurse holds it in. What a legend. A shot down low, and Fukali will direct that to the corner. We are all over them right now. Keep that in, keep it in. Yes, he does it again. Across. Come on, let's go, boys. We are so close. Another chance, and Fukali's gonna save that as well. Man, he is on fire right now. Oh no. Yes. 
The defense, man. They are so clutch. That was a crucial breakup. Backstrom had a shot. And then that goes in. We finally beat Fukali. And it was a five-hole shot, I'm pretty sure. That was cheeky. I want to see this again. I need a replay. And there's, like, no time left, too. That's going to be a W for the Oilers, I'm pretty sure. Yep, it was five-hole. Nothing else was working. And when all else fails, I guess go five-hole. That's kind of my go-to as well, especially on Deeks. They never really see it coming until they do, and then you switch it up. But for the first little bit, usually it's pretty solid. Another great defensive breakup. And that will do it. A huge win for the Oilers. And a pretty decent third period performance. They ended up having 29 shots. Is that good enough for a star? Yes, sir. Second star of the game with a 931 save percentage. Don't mind if I do. Let's get out of here and see you know, and there, what Chabalski's you know, got to say. Performance by the kid. I, I really Thank you. He shut Thanks. Down Appreciate it. McDavid, the little shuffle. In goal right from the get -go and Love that we get a B- minus overall. You know, got Tampa Bay again. Points in the victory, but I thought the rookie had a major hand We're not in this time. This I'll let James finish up. Two points in this one. All right, back to the phones we go. Oh, that was Peter it. Okay, let's sim this one. Tampa Bay, once again, I believe that was another win. We got the, uh, I was about to say the Lightning. I don't know where that even came from. We got Detroit, and let's see how this one goes. Oh, they beat us. They actually beat us in regulation. Unfortunate. The 31st placed Sabres, and that will be a W for your Oilers. And we have a conversation with our agent. I'll get to that in just a second as trade we deadline. We're about to make some massive acquisitions. Uh, acquisitions? The, uh, political candidates dropping out of races. Can athletes drop out of Accusations races is what right? I said well, by accident, I think. But it's an acquisition. Out, Whoops. Your performance will drop English is hard. Unfortunately, I'd say for the, for the youngster here who, who stops Pox, he hasn't stopped enough of them to stay in. Oh, come in on, dude. It's a... You know, it's a pretty good group of first-year players, and uh, I, I just he's don't not think he's done enough to stay in that top end of this race. Yeah, no, Fair. I think uh, Fair. there's been an elite group, and then there's a next level, and I think he's struggling to keep up with that next Is this going to be the promised failure, uh, okay, finally? So let's focus on the oh. trade deadline now. And... Yeah, well, here we go, coach. You'll have to string <laughs> something truly special to win the Calder, given how far back you are. If you set your mind to it, you can do it. Thanks for the positive reinforcement. Now, what promise did I make? Win three of the next five. And I think that counts. Like, if Smith gets pulled, I'm pretty sure that counts as a game for me, which is complete and utter bullcrap because I'm going into a situation where we're clearly getting Let's annihilated. Let's not. Let's not do that. Okay, where is the deadline? Let's have a look at the calendar, as a matter of fact, after this game. So we're going to find out in this video if we make any crazy... Trades and knowing the be a pro trade engine We're going to it's not even a question So we need to win three of our next five if we even get five more starts in the season. That's a good way to start Nice, okay. Well, let's jump in see if we can maintain this and try to keep that 900 save percentage And yeah, let's try to win three of our next five. This will be a good start getting off on the right foot The boys are buzzing already. That was a close chance Holy dude that line Every single time they enter that blue line, it seems like they generate a real close chance. Oh, that was a huge hit. McDavid again, and no one stands up. Unreal. Whatever. It is what it is. I would if I could, McDusty. I really would, but it doesn't give me the option. I guess I could fight their goalie. Do you think, do you think TJ is a good scrapper? I would like to hope so. Oh, there we go. All right, I'm joining in. I'm joining in. Give me a fight as well. Let's go. Is he gonna... Is he gonna scrap me? I think I have to go over the blue line, then it... Oh, it's not gonna let me! He's not... Unless he's just not going me. I'm not really sure. But, uh, let's see how we do. I'll just join the lads here. Sorry, didn't mean to block any visuals. Oh, Kane takes an uppercut. But he gives an uppercut. This is the most even fight I've ever seen right now. And Kane will go for the tackle. I'm trying to stick tap. There's not much I can really do. Um, except for... Just... Skate on the spot and not move. You are trying to get through a crowd there and it doesn't look like it's working, Kane. I don't think I've seen anything crazy yet, though, because, you know, I haven't seen, 
like Patrick Kane on the Buffalo Sabres or something. But I haven't really been looking super hard either. So maybe there have been some insane moves that have already occurred. And I'm just unaware of them. Or maybe it's a little bit more tame. We'll find out. Especially after this trade deadline. Because I'm assuming, you know, we're in a playoff spot. We're going to be going all in. So they really commit to the all in. And they will actually send it. So, yeah. If we are trying to win the Stanley Cup this year. Which we are. And if the... Simming engine has, or the trade engine in BIA Pro hasn't really been touched. And I feel like some wild things are about to go down. There was no, yeah, there was there a penalty in that first game? Actually, no, I don't think there was. At least we definitely weren't on the power play, so I didn't get any free team play. So that's unfortunate. But we still got the overall grade, which is, at the end of the day, the only thing I'm really concerned about. It's just, it's so satisfying when it's green. I don't know why. It's just good to see. All right. Let's see if we can make a couple more big stops here. Oh, we don't need to because our defense are just absolutely shutting teams down. Amazing. Vogel goes behind the net in front. A good pass. And then he crashes Bernier. But he'll smother it. And we'll have a face-off too. See, now here's the tricky one. Is it the right of Bernier or the left of Bernier? Should I go from his perspective and say the left? I think that's what I'm going to commit to. It's going to be kind of weird, but yeah. Or maybe I just won't say anything. I won't I won't use any sort of phrase regarding that. I'll just say there's a face-off in New Jersey's end. Oh, no. Oh, no! I thought he was going to crash the net after getting past our D, and then he didn't. He passed in front to Jack Hughes, who had an entire net. And he did not fail in hitting the entire net. So that is not great. But we are, we're still up by one, right? Yeah. <laughs> Mike is still in the way. I got to find a way to make that not happen. I don't know how I'm going to do that, but... Yeah, I'll try to figure something out. So now we're only up by one. I was about to say, no, we're not. Not even. We are tied. But that was a solid save from TJ. Let's try to get the insurance marker back here. McDavid is <laughs> double teamed again. Challenge him. Okay, is he going to go for the cross crease? Oh, I think he did, but what a hit. For what? Come on. What a joke. That was a clean hit, Darnie. Don't worry about it. Oh, yeah? Gonna kick that one aside. Don't think so. Nice try. That was actually terrifying. <laughs> I kind of thought he was gonna stuff it in somehow. And even if I drop like that, well, does that give them more or less space? Because I guess technically you could really still bank it off their skate, depending on how... Is that a thing? Can you do that? If they're hugging the post, can you slide it perfectly so that it just kind of ramps off their skating in? Because that would be elite if you could do that. Good job, CC, being there. Only 30 seconds left already, so we're doing a pretty solid job of killing the penalty. Only six minutes left in the game. So, yeah, things are going pretty solid so far. That shot was very quick and missed the net. And that one's going to go off 80 things before it finds its way behind me. I'm in. Let's try to get it out here now. The power play's done, but we need to get these guys off the ice. And get a whistle if only that went into my glove. I did make the stop, but it would have been nice to smother it and get the lads off. But it looks like they are gone now nonetheless. Miles Wood headmans it. And will we see a shot here? No, we won't. Because a swarm of Oilers players ensured that that puck was not coming towards me. Nice try and a great save from Bernier. Actually, you know what? I think I'm, gonna, I'm not going to sim past the trade deadline in this one. I'm going to do it in the next one. Save the suspense, a cliffhanger, if you will, for the next video. And that way, we'll start it off on a hot note that was not even close to the net. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. <laughs> Some of you guys are probably like, oh, come on, just show us. <laughs> gotcha. No, I'm not going to show you anymore. You're going to have to wait till next episode. Here we go. Kane is in over the blue line. We're still up by one, which is nice, but I... Would like if we get another one. Okay, we're getting solid chances, that's for sure. But none are going in at the current time. No, 
No way he just did that. No way he just did that. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> At least we managed to stop them. Ooh, that was scary. There's not a lot of time left. And we're only up by what a hit. Come on, dude. This ref just absolutely hates us. Outrageous. That was a clean hit. Don't worry, Kane. It probably wasn't, but let me see the replay. Like, what did he press? The elbow button? That's not... I don't get it, man. How can you call elbowing in a game? It just doesn't make sense. It's not like he, you know, hit the right stick in to raise his elbow. Like, <laughs> it just doesn't happen. But I guess they kind of got to have it as a possibility. So, yeah, it makes sense. Anyway, I thought I was going to be charging again. But here we are. The final minute. We're going to be on the penalty kill. Their net was supposed to be empty. But he is back there now because we got possession. Are they just giving it to us? Oh, never mind. All right. Their goalie is about to come out. And that is going to make it a six on four. Not a fan of that. Nice job, nurse. Win that battle if you can. I know that we are outnumbered right now. Great stuff. And he dumps it down the ice. What a play by Barry. Just getting the seconds off the clock. That's all we need to do right now. Nurse! Holy crap! He almost won a four-on-one. Legend. Final ten seconds. It all comes down to this. He's in. Takes a shot. I am just going to smother that. Get the whistle. And hope that we can win this draw. Here we go. How much time is actually left? Will they even be able to get a shot off? You know what? I suppose it is possible. It is possible. All right, here we go. Yeah, Nuge, you legend. Winning that draw. Another victory for the Edmonton Oilers. How many shots did they end up with? Ah, oh, only 27. Dang it. Okay, well, 900 save percentage down the drain on that one. But we got the W. So that is the important and thing. Kid to come up with a nice win here and make some big yeah. saves, especially in the yeah. back half of the game. I really yeah, for sure. Back half of the game. No, actually, and they well, get the two points. we and almost made it for overall. For a team that, you know, has just been so What's our save percentage? All season long. I think even the kids' freshman campaign has been a little up and down. He's kind of gone as the team's gone. But you know what? Nice win. Nice collective effort for everybody in this one. All right. I want to take a look at some of the numbers here. Okay. Let's view the stats, shall we? So at the time being, we have 72 from McDavid. In 61 games, we have 52 from Kane, so we have 20 more points from McDavid in one less game than Kane, who is our second best. Dreisaitl has 50 and 60, and he's a dash three. That second line does not seem to be working out for him. Hyman has 43, Nuge 41. Okay, there you go. Yeah, I don't know. Did we have Sonk the whole time? I don't know if we did. I feel like he's relatively new. Goalies... We got Mike Smith, 28, 18, and 5. Two shutouts, a 903 and 277. And then TJ, 8, 5, and 1 with an 893, 306. So, I mean, for 17 years old, I think we're doing all right. And um, actually, I remember reading that someone said you can get sent down to the HL, but you have to be doing, like, horrendous. So, that's kind of cool to know. I honestly thought there was just no such thing as the AHL in this. You just stayed in the NHL no matter what. But, yeah, apparently not. So, here are the current point leaders across the entire NHL. We got Stamkos up there with 76. And then Kucherov right on his tail. He's in 92, 90. And who's leading in the goal race currently? Matthews with 40. There you have it. All right. Uh, I guess we can check out the goalies. So, Bobrovsky, 32 wins. He is the most right now. And 918 for Gibson. He's doing well. And then Saros and Leonard. Right there as well. Markstrom has a 917. So he's also up there. Bobrovsky with the 912 is solid. Okay. So, yeah. That's how we're doing so far. Things are looking good. It's definitely looking like we are going to make the playoffs. I'll show the team stats. People have probably been asking for that for a while. I don't think I've been checking it. So, um, yeah. But as you know, and I will remind you again, these videos are always recorded way in advance. So I can get them out to you guys like I do. Otherwise, it just wouldn't be possible. So... Yeah, we're second in the Pacific at the moment with 35 wins. We're three points back on the Knights, but one game back as well. So we are hot on their tail for the Pacific title. And in the entire league, we are seventh at the moment. We are not really that close to Toronto, but not crazy far away. It is doable. 
So yeah, this is the standings currently. Montreal was first, and now they're in 10th, so that is a fall from grace. And there you go, the 19th placed Flyers have the wild card spot currently. Cool. Alright guys, so hopefully some wild things happen at the deadline. I don't know if there's like a, is there a news panel? Can I check that out? Like is there um, sort of a updates, like you know in franchise mode where they have the people sending out like real fake tweets or texts or whatever saying, Oh, so and so has been traded here. Hmm. Well, if you guys commented, I'm not going to be able to see it by the time I record. Because I'm recording the next video immediately after this. Uh, oh well, maybe not. Doesn't really look like it. So, we'll just see what happens. We'll just see what happens to our team. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you soon.